All right, all right. Peace to everybody in the chat. Thank you for your blessings. Yo, family, didn't I tell you for some strange reason, when I come late sometime, I start at 9-11? It happened again <laughs> today. I just looked at it and it says 9-11. You got I it. I keep starting at 9-11, y'all. I don't mean to. I'm just late, but damn, what is that? Why do I start at 9-11? Got to look more into that. Shout out to King Simon with the numbers and Lord Strayhorn. Hey, and we're going to have a great show tonight. It's Friday okay. night. Um, this is a show y'all should have your whole family in front of this uh, this computer screen if you can, because this is a, it's going to be a very educational show and we're going to have fun with it today. Um, I'm going to get to a quick commercial, get comfortable, family, and I will be right back with my guest. All right, be right back, family, in one minute. Sometimes I wake up in the morning feeling stressed Sometimes I wake up feeling like I never slept Sometimes I don't want to wake up cause I'm depressed But today when I woke up I felt blessed Yes, I'm thankful I could breathe Thankful for the breath Thankful for the heart beating in my chest Superman S I fell in love with life Not afraid of death Fell in love with life Fell in love with sex Then I confess I love my gold Melanated flesh It absorbs, it protects Like a bulletproof vest I kill all my demons and then I ask who's next I'm the son of Osiris, I'm coming for the suit tech Suplex, God is blood, God is great I thank God for the food on my plate I just ate mashed potatoes and steak mm -hmm. Victory is sweet, come get a taste The flavor when your air is baked Mac with the bass Been broke, can't break Got money in the bank Every day someone dies Someone's born, get a case Set a day, get a suit Get a tie, get a day God is always on time Never late, celebrate Get in shape, meditate Levitate, elevate Men destroy, men create Well, well Women menstruate in the sound I make emanates my life and the song I sing celebrate my life celebrate your life celebrate your life celebrate today celebrate tonight celebrate your life celebrate your life everything was dark God invented life everybody celebrate your life celebrate your life celebrate today celebrate tonight Accepted all my wrongs, celebrate the right When I die, celebrate my death, see what heaven's got I feel glorious, victorious, the metal dangle on my All right, and also before we get started, started mm. real quick Another real quick announcement before I bring on my brother um, It's going down this Saturday in the ATL March 9th We're having, uh, we're partying And uh, we're having a Holy Ghost 3 album stream and release party the address is on the screen. It's at 400 Lo Loyola Drive, Southwest in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, doors open up at eight. Uh, we're gonna be dancing. There's gonna uh, KT's gonna have his products there. There's gonna be vendors there. Uh, Blue Pill's gonna be serving the food. Um, at nine o'clock, uh, Doctor B is gonna open up the night with um, a drumming ceremony. So we're gonna have a drumming ceremony at nine o'clock. We're gonna be playing tracks from all three uh, Holy Ghost albums. We're concluding the whole trilogy. It's going to be an amazing, fun night. Uh, tickets is $30. I want you all to come out. And, and tickets is at the door. You don't have to buy in advance. You can just get your ticket at the door. Uh, we're not doing the advanced thing, so just get it at the door. But I want to see all of y'all March 9th in the ATL. It's going to be a star-studded event. We're going to be having a good time. And with that being said, without further ado, I want to welcome back to the platform my brother KT, the Arch Degree. Welcome back, bro. Yo, what's going on, brother Rich? Hey man, I'm having a good time. Uh, I, I drove. I, I drove in a pouring rain earlier, y'all, just to get some honey. Yeah, from KT. Yeah, man. you wild, oh, son. You was in the whole monsoon, dog. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's that good. I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing a little water. Get it. I'm doing a little water fast. Um, before the album drop, I do when, when I have, when I do big events or something, I usually fast right before just to get my mind right. So I'm doing a water fast, but I needed the honey to uh, do my water fast. So I wasn't playing. It was raining. I still went and got it, y'all, because it's that good. It's that good. Yeah, let these let these people know the shifts and the changes that have occurred since introducing that into your world, bro. Just so honey, they understand. If, that it uh, ain't no joke. It, honestly, if I had a unlimited supply of honey, just honey everywhere. I don't think I would even have to eat food anymore, bro. Like that's I've never I never had something that 
just complete not completely gets rid of my, my appetite, but I feel like I'll be good with just that. Like I feel like I'll I could be good with just honey for like a year. And I Jeez. and brother, I'll come back to y'all in a year. We'll see how brother Rich looks and how he acts. But the honey is that good. You feel like you're completely fulfilled nutritionally. You don't need anything you feel after taking that honey. So kudos to that one, KT. You got a winner. I that. see, I see you like Scrooge McDuck and DuckTales. <laughs> when he would go in the vault and dive into oh, all man. his money, oh, be yeah. diving. <laughs> I would I would be like that. I would be like that. I would be like yeah, that. Yeah, boy. And you come out there looking like you 15. Yo, serious to look older than you, bro. You come out of that pool. Man, I'm listen. Saying. I mean, that, that honey ain't no joke. That nah. honey ain't no joke. It ain't no joke, man. So shout out to KT. Make sure y'all get your honey. It is that good. Uh, KT, we got a good show tonight. Um, yeah. It's good. We... You know, these type of shows, I have such a diverse group of people that watch my platform, KT. Some mm -hmm. people may eat steak. Some people may be vegan. Some people may be on their way to being a breatharian. Some people may still eat pork. I don't judge anybody. Everybody's on different levels. And that's why I have such a diverse group of teachers on this platform, because I know somebody's at a different area in their life where they need help. So with that being said, people are... Everybody's diet is different. That there's just no. This is a vegan platform, or this is a meat either, or this is this, or this is that. Everybody's in the sun different. So I mm -hmm. want to help everybody with their diet. I want to help everybody with these ingredients that's in our everyday household foods that we eat that we're not even aware of. A lot of the mm -hmm. times, KT, we we look at. Let me just use this. We, we if you pick it up, bro, you look at the ingredients. You don't know what that. It's like a foreign language, KT. So you don't know a lot what going on. A whole lot going on, bro. So KT is here today to um, and what's good about this? I see everybody on Instagram doing that. They got clips and they talking about like the vegetable oil and and this and that and 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 the people love it. And me and KT did that in a supermarket. So I'm oh, gonna be man. I'm gonna be that chopping supermarket this supermarket is a it's a classic, bro. I got you know um, I told you about it. One of the clips from there got a million views um on facebook, facebook got yeah. over a million views yeah um and then i think i think maybe two of them two of the clips from that they they love they love that whole concept of of me being up in the the supermarket just you know breaking certain things down i mean anytime i i get involved with food the people go crazy especially you when i make you some food you don't know how to act either <laughs> oh we yo, we got to do another cooking video yeah, yeah, it's about um, that time. It's almost yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, we missed um February. I'm gonna holler at you maybe sometime next week. We could get one in. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna holler at you uh, about that. Shout out to the patrons. We got oh, just another quick announcement. I got a ta tantra video, the science of tantra from Phil Valentine. That's being uploaded tonight on Patreon. And a Wayne Chandler being uploaded uh, tonight on Patreon as well. So two Patreon videos will go up tonight from Phil and from Wayne Chandler. KT will be on next week with another cooking video. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, man, this food thing and these ingredients. Yeah, somebody said, well, we have time for Q&A today. Yeah, we, we, we'll do a brief Q&A uh, toward the end. Uh, KT, I want to start out, KT, showing y'all some of this. Um, I got it, you know. All right, let me show this first. I, I had a brother specifically ask me about this probably months ago. And I'm like, well, when the time is right, I'll ask somebody about it. Uh, the brother, rest in peace to the brother Kevin Samuels. A lot of polarizing figures. Some people liked him. Some people didn't like him. Uh, anyhow, one thing he always drunk. Now, I got to return this so I can't open it. One thing he always drunk, KT, was Red Bull. Mm -hmm. Every show he had Red Bulls, right? He was knocking them down like they was goddamn shots or something at the bar. And a lot of people attributed his death in part to the constant use of Red Bulls. Now, right. I personally know a lot of brothers. The trucking business is huge business in America, KT. And the brothers, mm -hmm. in order for them to stay up, like I said, a lot of people watch this channel. They need to take one of these to stay up, to be alert on the road. Otherwise, they'll be falling asleep, and that's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about this Red Bull. Let me read some of the things that are in the ingredients. And KT could tell us exactly what the hell are we drinking when we're looking for energy from Red Bull. Okay. So KT, they got carbonated water, sugar, glucose, citric acid, taurine, natural and artificial flavors, sodium bicarbonate, um, parentheses baking soda, magnesium carbonate, 
colors, caffeine, nia, cinnamide, pyridoxine, uh, calcium, pantothenate, and vitamin B12. Mm -hmm. so let's see y'all can see that. And I'm going to let you explain to the people exactly. You heard what I said about Kevin Samuels and the truckers I know out there, the brothers driving, brothers need energy, KT. To start out with, KT, man, what can you tell the average person who got an average diet? Uh, oh, damn. King Simon, before you start, KT, King Simon said, Red Bull, Red Bull almost killed me in my club life. God damn. Mm -hmm. Is that I dangerous, yo? Yeah, because you know they they serve it in the clubs. Um, I forget what the drink is called, but it's Red Bull mixed with some other stuff. Um, well, first thing that I could say is they don't lie to you. They say Red Bull gives you wings. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You just don't you don't think that it's the angel wings that they about to give you. <laughs> Yo, oh man. They tell you right there. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, in some of the commercials, they actually show people going to heaven after they drink. The drink. So the, the key in this one is taurine, which is a, a amino acid that we get externally. Um, yeah. But one of the main sources of that taurine that, that they use is actually from bull nut. Mm. So, you know, that's probably the main reason. I don't think we're supposed to be going around drinking the uh sexual bull. secretions from a bull so hold on, you know hold on. you're saying hold on. Let's, there we go there we go back it on up back, back it up. why do you think they got the bull on there and it's called taurine like taurus right damn yeah yep and then you got the caffeine up in there we yeah. don't know how much caffeine is up in there you know what i'm saying um and what else is there what else did you say? Okay, and then look, the this is the key. Everything that you put up today is going to have one or two of these things in there, and this is the smoking gun. It's going to say either natural or artificial flavors. Yes. Now tell me, where is the parentheses or the booklet or the description of what natural flavors and artificial flavors are? I need to know, KT. What okay, the so that's what I'm saying. It it could be a number of things. There, there's there's a there's a thousand different things that can fall under underneath the um, category of natural flavors. You know, such as the 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 uh, be beaver anus. <laughs> you want some? You want some? You want to? You want to toss some beaver salad tonight? Because that that's one of the main natural flavors. The secretions from the anus of a beaver. And you know what I wonder? This is what I wonder. I wonder who's the guy who said, you know what this is missing? This I'm telling is missing you. beaver anus. Let's, let's go and violate a beaver building a dam somewhere. And I'm, gonna, I'm not just going to mess with his anus. I'm going to pull the secretions out of his anus. Ooh. And I'm going to use that as a natural flavor. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Cold blooded, cold blooded. You know that's one of many. You know, but yeah, um, Red Bull is just something that 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 puts your RPMs past the 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 meter on the dashboard. Your 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 tires are spinning so fast you can't even keep up with it. Your body is not built for that type of stimulant, and there's no nutrients to to produce that type of energy that you're having it's really a false sense and the crash is devastating you know yeah. it's almost like you're you it 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 finesses your body to utilize all of these properties in order for you to have this high energy yeah but once the energy drops all the way back down you're out of all of those nutrients, all of those compounds that your body would be using to for your heartbeat, <laughs> for your lungs to breathe correctly, you kind of pulled all of those workers and used them to do this other thing. But now they're dead. They're done. They quit. They fired. They moved. They got another job. And now you don't even have anybody there to work on the heart 
and work on the lungs and work on the brain and work on these other things, you know? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so like King Simon just said, we talking about <laughs> we talk about beaver anus and bull nut, bro. Like nah, yeah, man. Like, literally, like, like you're not joking. Like you like, no, look up, look it up, look it up. There's taurine and sea moss too. But that taurine is a is the the phyto, the plant analog of it you know what i mean taurine like i say taurine is an external amino acid it comes from different sources you know this is why when people take sea moss and things like that they have energy you know what i mean they, they're able to go you know because there is taurine in there too but they they use a high amount in a concentrated form now whether or not they're using the actual uh semen of the bull still or they have figured out the way to do the the artificial um, version of it, regardless, you know what I mean? That That's the source. That's pretty much the main source. This is why they use the bull as their logo. Wow, wow, wow. I want to ask you now, KT, is this, because, you know, we, we, one of the main things we do when we um, are in these supermarkets and we're, we're learning about health and nutrition, we mm. look to buy food that we perceive to be healthy, that we are told is healthy, so I want to know, you know, are some of these foods gimmicks? Like I said, I have there's a wide group of people that watch this channel. Everybody's not a mm -hmm. vegan. Everybody's not a meat eater. Shout out to the brothers. That's the truck drivers. This one was for y'all. Hopefully y'all. Okay, so KT, an alternative for a truck driver who's up all night, who maybe need a boost. What 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 can you suggest? You As tell me, Rich, what I give you that give you that boost. What's the main thing I had to give you, tell you it keeps you going <laughs> nonstop, dog? What you got? What, the Giffy tea? There you go. Man, that's out, oh, man. <laughs> that Giffy T be having you gone, don't you? Yeah, that Giffy All tea, day. That Giffy T ain't no joke, y'all. All right, so you got the Giffy T and you got the Fido. You know what yeah. I mean? Either one of those is going to have you going. Both is on the site. Both is available. You know what I'm saying? So that's what y'all well, can do. Who is these trolls with the thumbs down? KT, what's the um the website? Tell them the website real quick. Tell them the so website. Soionicbotanicals.com. Soionicbotanicals.com. It'll be in the description. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, quick question, KT. Is this a gimmick? Uh, what, okay. What's in it? Let's see the what's the ingredients. It's well, it says it says watermelon juice, mm -hmm. filtered water, and lemon mm -hmm. juice. And let me hey, just... sound, sounds good to me. I mean, it ain't going to beat a watermelon, but right, right. What, what you got to do, you know, it's in plastic. So, you know, it, it, there's levels to this. You know what I mean? If, if somebody's yeah. being like real, real, really on it like that, then, you know, you're dealing with the plastic. You're dealing with the fact that it's packaged and it's in store and all of that. So you definitely have to deal with those setbacks. Right. But right. in looking at the ingredients, how many ingredients did you just read, Rich? Three. You read three ingredients. Three identifiable ingredients. You read <laughs> watermelon juice, the process in which they juice the watermelon. We don't know, but it's watermelon juice. You know, is it seeded watermelon juice? Ah, I don't know. Is it seedless? We don't know that. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, you got lemon juice, right? And then you got filtered water. So you, do, what type of filtered water is it? So you got to ask those questions. But right. compared to most things that you're getting in a bottle, a bag, or can, it's only three ingredients that you can identify. And that's the key. Can you identify these ingredients? Do you know what you're reading? Can you source this stuff? You know? Mm -hmm. But it ain't going to be the real watermelon, but it definitely will probably be the Pepsi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Yo, you know what I heard, um, um, KT? I don't know how true it is. They, like I said, the people on Instagram, they're doing these videos exposing these different foods. Mm. And I'm like, yo, that's dope. They said that the Sani water doesn't turn to ice no matter how long you put it in the freezer. Ooh, I never but, even tried that. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I was looking in the store today and I couldn't find it. I want to try to put it in the freezer. You was looking for Dasani and couldn't find it. Just to experiment with my brother. Just that's, to some, that's, that's some black magic for sure right there. They was like, oh, they trying to get us right now. <laughs> Dasani is everywhere. <laughs> Yo, anytime you go to a concert, a festival. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, Coca-Cola got the yeah. deal. So they're going to sell their water. But um, nah, I'm going to try that. I, I didn't hear that. It doesn't freeze. Yeah, yeah. That's what oh, they that's say. Not, that's not cool. We'll find bro. out. You know, I don't, I don't know. We're going to find out and see. If but somebody in the chat knows. Maybe somebody have, has tried it themselves. You know, yeah, true. If y'all know in the chat, let us know. I know Dasani, KT. What I do know is Dasani 
Miami and vitamin water are the two worst waters on the market. Like taste wise, mm -hmm. like that shit tastes like so much chemicals, bro. Like nobody got to tell me that shit ain't unhealthy because mm -hmm. you could just taste it. And be like hell no, I'm good on that. No, like, thank so, you. Yeah. No, thank you. Best, small, best bottle small. water I've ever drunk was water in Hawaii. Hawaii has the best bottle oh, yeah? water. Oh my god! Wow, tastes so wow. good. Anybody who's watching right now from Hawaii, please, or who have been to Hawaii and mm -hmm. have drunk any of the water out there, please let me know. Because what I drunk, no matter what brand it was, it was from Hawaii. It was different. Well, what's your favorite water right now on the market, K Team? Um, I remember um, years ago you told me about um, what was the one you told me about years ago? What Starkey's? Starkey's, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah I like I like the Starkey's bottle water. I like Aquapana. I like Icelandic. I like I think it's called Waya Kakia, which is a um, it's a Hawaiian brand. I know you um, about. I like. Uh, to, to, those are the main ones and then you know i, I like i like the deuterium depleted waters um everybody drinks mountain spring i'm not a mountain spring fan i'll drink it <laughs> if it's available people offer it to me don't got no problem with it it's in the glass is good yeah. i don't really drink mountain spring like that you know um it got, yeah, a yeah, yeah. it got a certain taste yeah it got a got a it, certain got a certain taste to me it got it a certain got taste, taste to me i like yeah. full smooth taste with uh -huh. water smooth full taste you know yeah and I, and i get that from the the icelandic um brands that come from like iceland and everything like that and i get it from the hawaiians yeah mm -hmm. indeed indeed all right so uh one thing this question here i want to know because my son when we go to whole Foods sometimes or trader joe's he'll get uh he'll get some of these so these are like giggles mm -hmm. yeah, they, like, uh, they got the starburst joints too yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so these are all over the internet these are straight poison right here straight on, poison man. straight poison uh I, I got gelatin, so you're already eating pork off the rip so there yeah. not be no muslims eating those skittles <laughs> so i'm what i'm trying to figure out kt is how i just want to make sure this ain't a gimmick right here i want to make sure this is you know worth it and, and i'm not let's just look at, let's look at the ingredients let's look at the ingredients let's so see let's what we look, got yeah let's see, let's see what, what we got, got here let's let's, let's now remember today, before you read yeah. the ingredients remember this is a treat even though we're right. seeing whether or not this is healthy, we're not saying this replaces a meal. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That this is for yeah. nutritional. This is an exchange for the trash that's out there, you know, and it's still supposed to be taken, you know, sparingly as a treat is. Indeed. Right? Okay. Yeah. Got to put that. They'll be like, KT trying to get us to eat candy. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to read some of the ingredients from Skittles, and then I'm going to read uh, some of the ingredients from here. To see exactly what the difference is and have KT uh, explain this to us. So now this here has sugar, corn syrup, hydrogenated palm kernel oil, citric acid, um, um, tapioca dextrin, modified cornstarch, natural and artificial flavors, color red 40 lake, yellow 5 lake, blue 2 lake, yellow 6 lake, titanium dioxide. Blue two lake, blue one lake, yellow yellow six, red forty, yellow five, blue one, sodium citrate, carn, carnaba, and carnaba wax. Wax, yeah. And it says um contain bioengineered food ingredients. So this is what. So look, yeah. what's the last thing you just said? Contains bioengineered food ingredients. Yeah. yeah. That that's that's his fancy way of saying. Oh, this is super GMO. Yeah, what all I heard was diabetes, uh -huh. <laughs> diabetes, 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 autoimmune disease, neuro uh, degenerate disorder, uh, uh, reproductive issues, headaches. That's what I just heard. Dumb, That's what, what I heard. Dehydration, all them, all those dyes, the red number 40s, the yellow number fives, the blues, and all of that. All of those are the main things that are hurting the children because we are light beings that process light. Color 
represents the color spectrum of the electromagnetic spectrum. So color is light. So they're making chemicals that are representative of light. So our body recognizes it as light frequency, but it's really a Trojan horse in which it's hidden inside the issues and the problems, which creates the attention deficit disorders, which creates the ear infections, which creates the diabetes and the sugar spikes um, and starts messing with their reproductive system. Um, Eight-year-old girls start having their cycle, start mm. growing breasts and everything like that start having sexual thoughts they start uh young young boys starts having erections at young ages too this is this is what all of these dyes end up doing you know destroying the nervous system um um mucking up the blood you know uh destroying the skin closing the pores you know eczema and all these other issues so forth and so on you mentioned the 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 corn syrup you know, which is going to spike the sugar crazy. The body doesn't process high fructose corn syrup um, in any in any type of good manner. Um, you also mentioned um, what was a com couple of the first ingredients besides the dyes, just plain out the sugar up in there, whatever the sugar oh, amount is going to be. Hydro hydrogenated so, palm kernel oil. When, whenever you hear hydrogenated what they're telling you what that means is deuterated that means that they're adding hydrogen to um a lot of these processed chemicals and the hydrogen isotope that they're using is deuterium and mm. if you listen to any of the previous interviews i've done here on black magic or any of the other interviews i talk about deuterium being an isotope of hydrogen a mitochondria a body utilizes hydrogen as fuel but because hydrogen has isotopes meaning it's the same element but it has a different number of particles in its nucleus it, it can still be seen as hydrogen but it's a different type of hydrogen so you got protium which our body uses which is just a proton and electron mm -hmm. you have deuterium which has Proton, neutron, electron. So proton, neutrons in the nucleus. So it has two things, hence why it's deuterium, right? For the, the two. And you have tritium, tri, means three. And you got proton, two neutrons, and an electron, right? Hmm. So when you got an ATP synthase, which I've shown before, which is a, a nano motor, a technology in your mitochondria that is used in order to produce ATP and energy in your body, it is fueled by proteum. The hydrogen that goes through this channel and causes this part to spin 1,500 times a second, creating our electromagnetic field, a, a deuterium has twice the mass, it's going to clog this up, it's going to destroy it, it's not going to work properly. All right. So when you see hydrogenated, that means deuterated. And when you exchange protium for deuterium and you increase deuterium in the body, you also increase cancer. You also increase the destruction of um, a lot of metabolic pathways that are there in order to keep your body working in an optimal fashion. Indeed. Um, so let me read. Giggles. Yeah, let me read the, the Giggles the version giggles. now. Let's see what the Giggles talking about. The Giggles version family says organic cane sugar, organic uh, rice syrup, mm -hmm. organic palm oil, <laughs> citric mm -hmm. acid, mm -hmm. original, original. Now, now I want to ask you because this says original flavors. Is there a difference between original flip? No, it says organic flavors. So okay. organic flavors and natural flavors. This shit is so called. This shit is confusing. But let me finish. Uh turmeric color. Uh, sodium citrate, citrate, organic mm -hmm. sunflower, lichitin, mm -hmm. malic acid, mm -hmm. radish, sweet potato, carrot, black those currant are all colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the dyes, right? Organic carnauba wax, spirulina mm -hmm. color, and mm -hmm. pectin. Yeah, so pectin is a natural fiber. If you ever juice like uh, strawberries, grapes, things like that, and you put it in the fridge, you'll notice when you pull it out the fridge after it gets real cold, it becomes gelatinous, almost like a jelly. Matter of fact, that's how jelly is made is through fruit pectin. So it's almost like how sea moss can gelatinize. You have you have uh, certain uh, carbohydrates inside of the uh, fruits that 
can create a type of fruit type gelatin. So that's what pectin is. And it's good for the gut, you know. Um, a lot of those vegetables are used for their dyes so that the giggles can have all of the colors of the rainbow and everything like that. The the canoba wax is for the sheen as well as the chew, you know, to replace the gelatin. Oh, okay. Aspect, you know what I mean? So, so it has that chewiness. Uh Um, and then you had, um, but you know, in the beginning, you know, you still have, even though it's cane sugar, it's still sugar, you know, you see, you're still dealing with the sugar aspect. You saw when they said palm oil, it didn't say hydrogenated palm this time was just regular, Mm -hmm. you know? So it's, it's definitely a better trade off. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's bottled water versus tap water. You know what I mean? But it's, but it's still bottled water in, in plastic rather than you drink it from a spring or drinking it in glass, you know? Um, so it's, 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 it's better. I would say that if you have to give your, your, your child some type of candy and you got to choose between the two, the giggles is going to be a better option, you know, but you can make your own sweets and snacks for your child by dehydrating fruit, you know, and creating like icy pops and stuff like that. And, you know, you could do your own thing. You can make your own candies at home. Um, but in comparison, yes, giggles is definitely a better choice than the Skittles is. Excellent, excellent. KT, a lot of people, um, we live in a world where a lot of people left is leaving milk alone. And when you go to the supermarket, most of the time, one of the first things you see, even in the um, juice bars, the juice bars have the silk um, almond milk or mm. um, that they make the smoothies with. So let's right. take a look at the um, almond milk that's on the market. Since we're, a lot of us are leaving milk alone, Let's see what we're going they to. They should replace. They should switch the L and the I. <laughs> oh, I'm slick. Oh, man. KT, you funny with this one. Come let's, on. Come on. Let's see what we right. got. Right, let's see what we got here, family. Let me put my flashlight on here. All right. We got filtered water, almonds. Contains 2% or less of vitamins and mineral blend, calcium carbonate, vitamin E, acetate, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D2, sunflower, and or almond, and or canola oil, sea salt, gel and gum, absorbic acid, vitamin C to protect freshness, and natural flavor, that natural flavor again. Yeah, so, so we, got the nat- we got the natural flavor thing, right? So we got that. And, you know, the almond, the almond milk industry actually didn't come about about saving cows or veganism or nothing. It came about because the almond industry, after processing all them almonds, they were left with all of these pieces. Mm. It was like, we can't just sell all of these pieces. So they decided to blend the pieces up, add water and then add some type of gelling agent to give it more of that kind of milky um, viscosity to it. Um, And that's where the almond industry came out of. So a lot of these almond milks are really just, you know, leftover pieces of almonds mixed with water and and some type of gel agent, which you, you know, gel and gum, that's what you just read. Um, But then you do have some companies that are using whole, um, you could taste the difference. You can make your own almond milk at home, you know what I'm saying? Or you can get one, um, I, I, I can't never remember the brand that I use, uh, but they only use three ingredients, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like salt, water, and almonds. That's all it is, you know? Um, and you see with that one, they got they fortified it with stuff. We don't know the sources of those vitamins that they putting up in there. They got the gel agents, they got the natural flavors, you know, and we don't know, you know, are you using whole almonds? Are you just using leftover pieces that have been sitting there for the past two, three years? You know, after you put natural flavors, which, you know, I know we're going to be getting in the MSG shortly. You know, it's, it's really it's, it's a hidden is this a hidden poison? You know what I'm saying? In a, in a lot of cases, because it would not normally have that flavor if it wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? You would probably taste the fact that it was very watery or, you know, just just not up to par like it's supposed to be. So um, I would I would say that best type of almond milk you could do is obviously the almond milk you make at home. Buy some cheesecloth, you know, go to the store, get cheesecloth, 
you know, blend your almond milks up with water, you know, soak them overnight, take the skin off and everything like that, blend them down and then strain with the cheesecloth, squeeze the cheesecloth real good, add a little vanilla extract. You can add some of my Nessu nectar to it or a little maple syrup or some coconut crystals. Um, and you got a great almond milk right there, you know. Otherwise, if you're going to purchase one, then you want to find one that has the least amount of ingredients in it, which should be it should only be about three. When you get into the paragraphs, then, you know, you're getting into something else. So I want I remember years ago I had to go downstairs and get this. Um, this one here, family. It says that's, the, milk. that's it, Elmhurst. Yeah. I was trying to remember the name. That's yeah. the company. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Only two ingredients. So we got milk walnuts. And if y'all look at the ingredients, family, filtered water, water, walnuts. Walnut. That's, <laughs> it, baby. That's, that's it. it. That's it. So, family, if you uh try to stay away from the these and uh stay away from the slick, the slick, and it will only two ingredients. So. Yeah, Elmer's uh, is popping. They got, they got, they were got real good milks. I deal with them. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. So, and you know it too, because if you let the the container sit, like you got to mm -hmm. shake it, because it'll 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 separate, and a lot of that it'll settle to the bottom, and you'll have like a um a thick paste. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know all that stuff ain't in there. Mm -hmm. Separation is key. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody said, "Will you get that from um?" Whole I get it from Sprouts has Sprouts. it, Whole Foods has it, sometimes Publix has it. And then, you know, we're dealing with people all over the country. Everybody got different supermarkets. So you just need to just ask your supermarket. They know what they got. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah. You can order it online, too. You know, everything's online. Yeah, so. a lot of the stuff that we show, depending on, you can order it on, online if you don't see it in your mm -hmm. um, local supermarket. You just got to pay for shipping. So that's the only yeah. thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of people. I, I stepped off, but um, I see a lot of people mentioning Khalifa. What do you think about Khalifa? I don't know if you mentioned that. Yeah, they got oh, the gum in there. They got the gum in there too. What, what got what's a gum? couple of ingredients. What, what's the gum? What's the gum? Because this is no gelling gum. Not that one. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's no, no. No added gums or emulsifiers. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. So emulsifier yeah. and emulsifier. You know, this is what your 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 um. Where's my uh, gallbladder? Give me one second. Let me grab my liver. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it does cost more. If you um ordered online, it does cost more. Yeah, so All right. So this this is the liver, okay. And behind the liver, you have the gallbladder. That's what this green little sack is. And the gallbladder concentrates bile, and bile is an emulsifier. When you eat fats, you're an aqueous organism, meaning that you contain you're like eighty to ninety percent water, right? So you get fat in your body. You see what happens when you put oil in a bunch of water. They separate. So how do you process oil in a body that's mainly water? Well, you have bile that produce bile salts. And the bile salts are emulsifiers. And emulsifiers are um, chemicals that has the ability to be able to break down fats. You know, so... You use emulsifiers every day for those of you that actually wash your dishes and clean your kitchen. You know what I mean? I, you go in the kitchen, you got dirty dishes, then more than likely you got dish detergent. And what the dish detergent is going to do is it's going to it's it's like um it's like a, a person that plays a mediator between two people that can't stand each other. They argue all the time. They always fighting. You got oil wow. over here. You got water over here. They cursing each other out all the time. And you got a mediator in between that loves them both. And they hold each one of their hands. They say, all right, I'm going to hear what you got to say. I'm going to hear what you got to say. And I'm going to I'm gonna translate. I'm going to communicate so that both of y'all can get along. And that's what mm -hmm. emulsifiers do. This is why you're able to rinse the grease out of the pan because the soap, plays the part in being able to hold both their hands so that the water can do what water does. All right. So these chemicals that they add in there is to emulsify. Why? Because they're adding water to nuts right, and right. nuts are fats, right? So they need the water and the nuts to stay together as one thing and not separate. So that's what the emulsifiers and the gums are for. Well, you're dealing with xanthan gum and a lot of the powdery 
products. That's so when you pour the powder out of the container, it flows out and it doesn't cake up. That's mm -hmm. what they're using those things for. But what is it going to do when it gets in your system? It's great for the convenience of the product, but how is it for the body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. This was a request. Um, I told, um, I made an announcement that I was doing this show. A brother emailed me and um, he works out a lot. He's trying to stay away from pork and beef and he's trying to like just stick to turkey, chicken and fish. So you want to ask about turkey bacon. So I got some turkey bacon, Oscar Maya. Let's uh, see. Turkeys or vultures? Let's see. <laughs> hey, where my phone at, yo? I need my, my flashlight. Turkeys is vultures, Shout out to brother. Um, a lot of brothers that work out, they feel as though they need that. Um, damn, man, I can't. They need find that meat. They yeah, need they some meat. Like, yeah, they feel like they need that. Let me see if I could. Um, uh, damn. Hold up, yo. Give me a second, man. KT, talk to the people real quick. Talk to the I people. Yeah. So, <clears throat> real quick, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Doctor Holistic Bobby Price. Um, he got a podcast series. He started. Um about a month ago and um my show actually debuted today my interview debuted today so if y'all want to check out that conversation we're over there i'm over there um dropping some science as usual it was good it was a good conversation we had, we had a good time over there um <clears throat> if you're trying to cleanse out all of this stuff you know what i mean like i said a good replacement for that that red bull and all of that's going to be the geefy tea the fido um Honey is always available for the people, of course. Um, and uh, what else do we have? Um, and like like Rich mentioned earlier, we got the he has the the album release coming up this upcoming weekend, and um, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna come through and have some products there. So if you're in the Atlanta area in Georgia, trying to come through and support, I'll definitely be in the building. You know. Oh yeah. So I can't find my light right now, but we're going to make it happen. Let me just put it up in the light. So, all right. So the brothers that want to know about the, um, who's left pork, but it's still on the turkey bacon. And I just mm. got off of this, um, shit in around 2020 when that thing came around, I was, you know, I, I thought them animals was carrying that shit. So that's what, <laughs> that's what I left this alone. But let's see, this got, um, take off these glasses. Um, uh, Turkey sugar salt contains less than 2% of potassium lactate, water, potassium chloride, sodium diastate, sodium phosphates, smoke flavor, sodium absorbate, autolyzed yeast extract, sodium nitrate, and soy lecithin. It's a lot of sodium, sodium this, sodium that. A lot sodium. of salt, a lot of salt. Well, you know, salt, salt's a curing agent that uh, most people that want meat to last a long time, they'll they'll salt it. Do you remember yeah. back in the day in New York when we would pass by the Chinese um, stores, they would have the fish in the bucket salted, Rich? Do you remember yeah. that? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Yeah, and they'd have that fish out there for months, don't yeah. <laughs> All covered in salt. But um, you you said autolyzed yeast extract, and that's a um another way of saying MSG. You know, that's a hidden oh. MSG agent up in there. Oh. That's one of the many names, oh. many names. And we got so we got we got uh calcium glutamate, autolyzed yeast, autolyzed yeast protein, hydrolyzed corn, magnesium glutamate, monoammonium glutamate. Natural flavors, sodium caseinate, sodium uh, soy isolate, um, textured protein, vegetable extract, yeast extract, glutamic acid, glutamate, monopotassium glutamate, calcium glutamate. These are all different names for MSG, yeast food, yeast nutrient, textured protein, soy protein isolate, whey protein isolate. These are all MSGs. Indeed. You know, they got the M and they got to have the MSG in there because it's probably some real old turkey <laughs> that probably tastes like somebody's armpit. You know what I'm saying? So they had to put a lot of salt, some flavoring, you know what I'm saying? And that MSG on there. So you want to eat it. Mm. My thing is, if you, this is the thing, if you want to eat the meat, then get the meat. 
get the meat, get the turkey, mm. get an I when I went to uh the UK mm. and I saw how they sell meat. You know how they sell meat over there, bro? How? I don't how, how they sell you see the cow's leg in the window. Wow, the whole leg. Wow. The whole bird, the whole bird, the whole thing. There's no way they fronting on that meat over there. You see what I'm saying? Over mm. here, you get packages, and they say, this is turkey. You don't know what that is. You don't know what you're eating. You know what I'm saying? So if you decide to be carnivorous, then be carnivorous. All right? Because ain't no lions eating no packet of no turkey bacon, dog. You know what I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> go to the farmer's market, get the real pieces, find a farmer that grows the stuff, get it from them. You know what I mean? Get the mm. actual meat then. But all this mm. slice it up and dip it in sauce I... with clear chemical juice preservatives, like bro, that's gonna mm. shut all your hormones down. And yeah, you get in your um, you get in your hi hypertrophy. With your musculature, you know, but your mm. balls are shrinking, mm. you know, and 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 your penis ain't getting erect no more, you know. You don't got no libido, but you look great. Mm. Is that mm -hmm. what you want? Is that what you mm. want? So, so KT, is the actual preservatives that we get in the supermarket is that worse than the actual meat? Would you say, or it just adds say that on? One more time. All right, so all the preservatives, all the shit they got to put on this. To keep mm -hmm. it fresh for months and months and months, is that what well, is that worse than the actual meat itself? Like of if course. somebody yes, 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 Dang. yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Because what will assist meat in it breaking down in the body is seasonings. This is why people don't just eat meat directly as it is. You know what I'm saying? When you you look at the Food Network, you go to these barbecue spots and everything like that. Yo, when they do brisket and everything, they putting that thing in there for hours. Before they put it in hours, they're soaking it. They're um they're making um what a, a saline bath. You know what I mean? They injected it with salt water. They're using bro, bro, uh, bromelain from from the pineapple or the popping from the from the um from the papaya in order to tenderize it and break they, they go through all these processes to break the meat down season the meat and everything like that so that their body can somewhat process it as as it goes through because it's really more of a of a of a uh taste and texture experience that they they're they're going for right so yeah it's it's all of those preservatives because Look, you go to the farmland where people are raising these animals and eating these animals. Them dudes are strong. Mama's strong. Them kids strong, bro. They live long, mm. you know, because they have mm. a connection with the animal. They have a connection with the land. You mm. know what I'm saying? They're com they're not just eating the meat. They're growing produce and they're eating cabbage and, and collards and yams and all this other stuff with it. You know, so it's it's a it's a whole process involved. But when you're dealing with something, we talking about transglutaminase, you know, which is the uh, a protein extracted from the cows and the pigs mm -hmm. that are that's known as meat glue, so that they can take a bunch of post mortem meat that could be five six <laughs> years old. Nobody told you that that turkey came from one turkey. That could be a thousand different turkeys. Like literally. Yeah. yeah. And they glued it together. They put it in a machine. They squeeze out the paste. They shape it in the bacon. Mm. I don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Man. Well, That's shout out to the brother. Shout out to the brother who want to know. You want to know? KT let you know about the turkey bacon, brother. Oscar Meyer has a name. Is B O L O G N A. <laughs> you ever uh, looked at bologna under a microscope, bro? Nah, chill, chill. <laughs> they still serve bologna? They still sell that? I haven't seen. Oh, yeah, it. yeah, fried bologna, man. You got to get it when it till it with the bubble. Oh, fried no, till the bubble comes. You ever ate those? You know, you never ate that when you was young, right? I you had think? bologna. Yeah, I used I to fry the bologna it. till it had yeah. the bubble. You oh know what yeah. I'm you don't black people don't eat plain bologna. You gotta fry your bologna. Did you, did you did you put mustard on your bread or was it come on? Uh, of course, yes, man. yes, man, those, 
Man, them things was good, KT. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> but now I could do it with mushrooms, though. Yo, for the um Patreon, that's what I, I want you to do. The um mushroom steak. You want me to do the mushroom steak? Yeah, yeah. I want to. I got. It, it, I got to call my homie and get my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, definitely. Want to do the mushroom steak? Shout out, KT. Is we're gonna do the cooking show next week, yo. We're gonna have mushroom steak with something else. Don't know yet, but um, it's gonna be dope, y'all. It's gonna be dope. All right, KT. Um, something else I want to ask about. Uh, okay, so just since we know sugar's a a, a a drug, I know a lot of people. Oh, that's the one right yeah. there. Yes, yeah, I'm with that. What the ingredients say this, though? It's the winner. This what is the winner, y'all? Let's say what it say on the back. One ingredient: organic medjool dates. Am I saying Come that right, on, baby? Yeah, medjool, man. That's yeah. the dates that got melanin in it. That's liquid melanin you looking at right there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great stuff. I'm with that 100. percent Yo, let me say something. I don't know if this is going to sound ignorant or not, but I'm going to say it because that's as an interview, that's what makes me who I am. Just saying, just, you know, what's on my mind. Okay. So you, we, we see these things on the Internet where they'll say like a walnut uh -huh. and they compare the walnut to the brain. The walnut looks like a brain and mm -hmm. they have a tomato and they say the tomato looks like a heart and they'll just have certain foods that look like certain things. When mm -hmm. I see the medjool date, one time, that, one time it was on the floor. I said, "Oh shit, a cockroach!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to that when I was so a it's, kid. it's a little, it's a little bit of a turn off eating that shit <laughs> because when you see it, you like this shit look like you know what I'm saying? Dates a big ass water bug. Dates of melanosomes. That's what they look like in your body. Mm, okay. Melanosomes are the actual organelles that the melanocytes deposit into ker keratinocytes. This is what holds the melanin granules in there. Because if you notice, when you eat um, 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 a date, it's, it's fibrous and it's granulated. If you yes. look at a, a melanocyte, I mean a melanosome, they have fibers that the granules sit on, you know? And it's almost, it almost has the same exact shape, same exact structure, blackish, brownish. And it's one of the, the few fruits that contains large amounts of melanin inside. You know, no, uh, and you know, somebody said the no me, medjool, M -E medjool, M E D J O O L, yeah. and I think medjool. like the the scientific name is like Phoenix, is Phoenix something too? It got the name Phoenix in it. Yeah, we'll see at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, medjool. Well, yeah, this medjool. Is one, um, you go know what I do that, with this case? Go, go to the Islamic or the Arabic communities to their markets. And you'll find stupid amounts of them in the boxes. They got great quality medjool days. This is how they break their eat and their fast during Ramadan. That's mm -hmm. usually what they're eating all the time. Yeah. Yo, you know, all right. So uh, instead of eating like the Snickers and shit like that, what I usually do sometimes. Oh, yeah. Snack, I cut the date open, pour some sunflower <laughs> seeds or something in that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The medjool dates with like some sunflower seeds or some seeds, man, in the middle of it. Yo, Ooh, you don't put, need no Snickers or none of that, family. Get, yo, get uh, get some almond butter and coconut oil. Melt the, melt the coconut oil and mix it with almond butter so it gets, you know, it gets real loose. Mm -hmm. And put that in the center of it. In the center? And it, yeah, yeah, because you take the pit out. Yeah. Take yeah. the pit out. Now it's a hole. Yeah. Squeeze the almond Ooh. butter in the middle. Ooh. Yeah, and then eat that. Man, oh man, oh man. You know what I'm, I'm saying? If you really want to get funky, you'll melt melt some dark chocolate down and then dip that whole thing in dark chocolate. Wow. See, family, we, we, we got some recipes today, y'all. Ain't ready, man. They ain't they ain't yeah. What I what I usually do, KT. Um, this was from my cabinet. And I ain't returning this. Um, instead of the oatmeal. I'll eat this. Let me let me let me get your opinion on this. Let me just show this okay. for the family. So okay. this one right here has I found my phone, y'all. Found my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so this right here has gluten-free whole grain, rolled oats, dried coconut, buckwheat groats, inulin, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and coconut flavor. Mm. Okay. What you what you what you think about that, KT? Is this it a says, yay or nay? Uh, is gluten is gluten free oats? It says gluten free whole grain rolled oats. Let me show you. Here. Gluten free whole, okay. Yeah, gluten free whole grain. Yeah, they got oats. the inulin in there. That's what's giving it its thickness. Uh, hemp seed color. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. 
decent. It's decent. The I, I would say the Kenwa flakes would be a better uh choice. Much better. Yeah, the oh, okay. the Kenwa flakes and the Kamut puffs. Have you had the Kamut mm-hmm. puffs yet? You put me onto that. You put yeah, me on. Yes, I. Yeah, them Kamut puffs. Uh, with some um, maple syrup, I put some maple yeah, syrup over man, it. Yeah, man, with the with the woof. With the, with the, <laughs> bro, I should That's I should have put that right up. there. But um, they got the quinoa flakes for the hot cereal that goes off real well. You could make you could use Fonio for a hot cereal as well. But what you just showed is definitely going to be better than. Um, you know, I, I came, I, I had a lot of cream of wheat when I was younger too. That was my joint, you know, cream of wheat with the maple syrup and the yeah. nutmeg and the butter mixed together. But you know, that's, that's just straight up wheat, you know? So you, that's a good alternative, but there's okay. always going to be better choices, you know? Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, kick, um, King Simon said he heard chia seeds wasn't good. Is uh, any th- thoughts on that? It's so funny because, you know, I, I didn't grow up even eating chia seeds. I, I saw it as a commercial for the pottery plant that grows. Yeah. Ch-ch-chia. <laughs> like, that's how I knew about chia, you know, and then it, it comes out that, it oh, it's this uh, nice jelly and you could use this as a replacement for egg and, you know, doing these little trifoils and stuff like that. But um, I don't use it much. Um. Every now and then, then I do this like overnight oats thing, you know, with uh, uh, the overnight oats and chia seed and fruit and stuff. I put it in the mason jar. I shake it up. I let it sit overnight. And then the next day, I, you know, I pour it in a bowl and then I, I eat that up. So I do that from time to time, but I'm not a big chia person, you know. Um, apparently, it, you know, it helps with the gut because of the degelling agent. So it, you know, it, it, the good fiber, and then it helps to to as a bulking agent in the gut to get all the the muck out and things like that. But um, it's not a it's not a main thing in my diet like that. You know what I mean? In terms of hearing that um, it's it's harming the body. Um, I haven't heard anything that you know it, it really hurts the body like that. But it's just not something I I consume. My body's like my body's real like picky. So even though it might not be doing anything bad for me, it's an energy and I'm like, ah, it's not really big to me. So I don't really, I don't really mess with it like that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against people that do chia seeds, but you know, it's, it's very rare when I eat them. Yo, you know what I heard is absolutely horrible for you. And, and I know a lot of people um buy this in a regular supermarket. Oh, Nutella, they, Nutella. They, Real real quick, somebody did make a point in the chat that I, I skipped over. Chia is a great source of omega-3s, um, along with walnuts, hemp oil. Those are good omega-3 sources. So, yeah, uh, that, that is a, definitely a good point. Um, so, Nutella, uh, hazelnut spread, right? Uh, yeah, the hazelnut, hazelnut spread. Yeah. So let, let me, you know, the, the hazelnut and the chocolate aspect definitely is delicious, but it's it's all the other stuff in there. It's the sugar and the, the other oils. And let me show you all this real quick, KT. So we yeah. got sugar, palm oil, hazelnut, skim milk, cocoa, skim lecithin, milk. There you go. Lecithin as emulsifier. Or lecithin, yeah, that's to keep the fats together. And artificial flavor. There it is. Bow, milk. bow, bow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make your own. <clears throat> all it is is a nut butter the oil is to make it more more malleable you know and then chocolates add added to it you get your own hazelnuts you know what i mean do that yourself you know a lot of these a lot of these things y'all can make at home and it's gonna be better mm-hmm. it might not last for three months but this is my thing yeah. if something tastes real good in your house rich how long does it last don't last long at all exactly so it's don't like yeah, just make it at home, eat that thing, move on to the next. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, for those, um, this is a very popular um item when we brush our teeth, KT. A lot of people use this in the regular household. Listerine. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We've been taught this is like the number one mouthwash on the market today, KT. Mm-hmm. Number yes. one on the market. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, your thoughts and like I said a lot of people watch this channel and a lot of people use this KT well, well, let, let, 
show you what, what, what it says. There got to be a dye up in there to have it that color, right? Where, where is there any coloring? What it we says, got eucalyptol, menthol, menthol, salicate, thymol. No, nothing's wrong with any one of those. Oh, so you know, all, all, of, all of those are just like essential oils and things like that. What what What's giving it that color, though? There got to be a dye. Inactive oh, yeah, ingredients? Right. Inactive ingredients. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's what we need to look at. What's the right, inactive? So inactive ingredients is water, mm -hmm. alcohol, 21.6%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sor sorbitol, mm -hmm. polo, xamara, 407, benzoyl. Benzoic acid, sodium yep. saturin, flavor. There we go. There we go. Sodium benzonite, there yellow go. ten. There we go. And green green. There we go. So what they just yeah. did essentially is the active ingredients is what you can make right. <laughs> your own listerine yeah. from, right? Uh -huh. uh, while all those inactive ingredients are actually the ones that are tearing you a new one. Um, oil pulling is going to be way better then put it in your mouth and this is something my father taught taught me about okay and this is this is georgia would take not sabi actually right what he taught me was when you use listerines and those harsh mouthwashes you know what you're doing you're actually killing the microbiota the, the oral flora, the the back the the oral bacteria, because you have beneficial oral bacteria as well. Everywhere you have mucus lining, orifice, where the external environment is is interacting with your internal, right? Your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. You have bacteria there, right? And mm -hmm. what that does is like uh um it's like drones, uh, the billion drones flying over, just dropping bombs on a, on a city. You're mm. just killing. Mm. You're killing the bad bacteria, but you're killing the good bacteria too. Like the difference between um, Palo Santo and and sage. Mm -hmm. um, so with sage, sage cleanses everything. It cleanses the good and the bad out. It's like bleaching an area. That's mm. what sage does. Mm -hmm. Palo Santo is specifically the negative. Mm -hmm. You know, so I would say look at the menthol. The salicate uh, joint is just the active component that's inside of like wintergreen and certain mints. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so those things that they listed as the active, these are what you'll find in a lot of the menthol, mint based essential oils and plants, which you can use as a as a mouth cleanser and a mouth freshener um but those inactive ones that's where the problem lies right there all right all right doing a lot of learning they in the chat yeah everybody's definitely enjoying this one yeah bars definitely bars i got uh, nothing love for the family baby no uh no i found it somebody they telling me about the phone i found it i got it um, it was in the front of the room. I I, I must have put it down or something, but yeah, I, I got it. I got the uh, I got the phone. Damn. All right. Um, uh, but thanks for being concerned, y'all, and giving me some help with the phone. All right. So, <laughs> uh, a big one. One thing that tears me up, KT. Uh, my my body, my avatar, my skin does not like, does not get along with his bread, and I love the bread. So I'm. It was pretty depressing when I found out that the bread gives me inflammation and eczema and things like that um yeah man y'all see me with eczema sometime on my face like oh, rich must have been eating some bread or some shit like that because that's when when i eat it or it just comes automatic but what i want to ask you kt because some of the breads the more healthy breads out there we see are the ezekiel i know people mm -hmm. are aware of that and you put me on to this one sourdough spell yeah. bread yeah Berlin so, Bakery is a great company. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, I use this a lot right now, y'all. And uh, can you tell me? Let me read some of the, This is a real popular one. You can find this one in all the supermarkets. I know a lot more. It's yeah, they got too much going on for me. I don't, this, I don't this, is hard to find. this is hard to mm -hmm. find. This one is not order. Hard. Berlin Bakery is online, so you can order them. So let me... Um, yeah, KT said this got too much going on for him. Let me... um. 
I'm not returning this. Yeah, I'm not really into the multi-grain breads that just got like a thousand. It's like they're like they like um blinging. <laughs> they got the dying and bezel grains all over it. Let me read this real quick, KT. So we got organic sprouted wheat, filtered water, organic sprouted barley, organic sprouted millet. Organic malted barley, organic sprouted lentils, organic sprouted soybeans, organic sprouted spelt, yeast, organic wheat gluten, and sea salt. Yeah, uh, it is, man. You got, yeah, so this is got gluten, got soy up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I ain't messing with that. Too much going on with that. You know so, what I'm saying? Whole Bible verse bread. Nah. Um, but the sourdough. The reason why the sourdough is is something that can be dealt with is because that process that they do in order to do sourdough, it, it actually breaks all that gluten down, mm. you know, so the, the gluten content of sourdough bread is minimal compared to regular bread. And, you know, that's something that's easier to digest. Rye is a real good. Uh, bread to eat too. Rye bread is real good. Spelt bread is real good. Injera with the teff is good. Um, you know, if you're dealing with quinoa flowers and, and things like that, all those breads are good. Utilizing sea moss gel, um, you know, as opposed to yeast, you know, helping the bread to rise and everything, you could do that also. But when you're dealing with the regular breads, they're based off a of wheat that was specifically manipulated by man to increase the gluten so that the bread would rise and fluff the way it does. Right, right. But the body has a very difficult time in trying to break that bread down and get it out the system. And on the way of it coming out, it's setting off cytokines, it's setting off histamine, it's setting off all of these inflammatory factors, you know, because it's just kind of this alien glue like matrix you know that the the body is using all of its resources to try and crack the code of and it's just difficult to do you know so yeah we we you know we love some bread but it, it breaks us down you know so so y'all see me read the ingredients for this now let's read the ingredients for the one kt recommends Probably once again three three things, yeah. four things so, right? look at the ingredients y'all organic whole grain spelt Wheat flour, filtered water, and sea salt. Three ingredients. Simple. Ain't even no yeast up in there. Look at Three that. Three ingredients, y'all. Three ingredients. Make sure y'all get y'all some of this if y'all um yeah, sourdough and rye. Those are those are easy breads to come across, you know. Um, uh, that you ain't gotta order in everything like that. You can get in the stuff, you gotta have some bread, you know. Oh, KT, KT, KT. A lot of people across America. I got this in their refrigerator and they think they're drinking orange juice and they think they're getting what they say. Orange juice got a vitamin C. So they think they're getting their, their daily dose of vitamin C. Um, they, 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 I heard this shit is poison. KT. Listen, let's remember straight poison. You know, you know, what's interesting. What? You got grape juice, right? Yeah. You got apple juice, right? Mm -hmm. But, but, but with, but orange is a color. <laughs> so, so when they say simply orange, <laughs> they just say, hey, we got the color right. You know what I'm saying? You got that right. We think that it's just um, simply orange juice. But what it is, it's a collection of oranges from all over. You know, it ain't just like uh, from one tree or anything like that, even from one grove. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a collection of different oranges. And then. After they they filter out all the pulp and everything, they'll add pulp to to certain juices. When they say with pulp, it's not that oh they juiced it in a natural manner and they left the pulp in. No, they just had leftover pulp and everything from processing, and they'll just throw that old pulp in there. Mm. My thing is this: you know when you're drinking real orange juice. Oh yeah, orange juice it. has a flavor. Let me tell you my favorite juice on the market. And I drink this, I drink this juice like, like, like folks drink Kool-Aid back in the day, dog. What's this? I, I got to know. What's this? Which one? And I'm afraid to say it because I ain't going to uh -oh. be able to find it after I tell y'all. Uh oh. But I can buy, I could buy five, six bottles of this, bro. And it's like, it's like mama's breast milk. You understand? Natalie's 
Tangerine Juice. Oh my God. I'm trying to Natalie's think. Natalie's Tangerine, bro. Ooh. Ain't nothing hitting like that tangerine juice boy by Natalie. It got, the, it got oh where you get that when, from. I ain't about to tell you, so you can take oh, my man. ass. Nah. Oh, <laughs> Whole Foods should have it, but I get it from Sprouts. Okay. I get it from Sprouts. Um, Publix has it sometimes, too. They have it in, like, the uh, the little half gallon. I like getting it in the liter bottle. It's, it's, it's The smaller ones are better. The smaller ones are better. But mm-hmm. Natalie's Tangerine Juice, that's what orange juice supposed to taste like. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But this stuff, when you taste it and it's bitter, all you taste is the oils of the orange peel. That's all that's there. Mm. Nah, man. Orange juice is supposed to... It's orange juice. Do you remember what... what Back a, in the day? day? Oh, my God. You remember we go to the corner store, be in the, the carton, and you have to split it and pop the mouth part open and then take it to that. It was so good. Food tastes don't so taste good. like that no more. Yeah, because they so come on, bro. Back in the day, y'all. Oh, I mean, so good. Food is good. Shit, cookies taste different back in the day. A cookie don't yes. even taste oh. it, 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 it's a waste a of time. time. Eating, family, it's a waste of time eating junk food now because the junk food don't even taste like the junk it, food used to taste. It tastes like junk now. <laughs> it tastes it like junk. It's up to his name. It's living up to his name. <laughs> Man. A cookie used to be a cookie bag. A chocolate man, listen. Man, oh man. Oh man, what a good show, y'all. I'm going to get to a couple of questions from y'all. I want to ask KT, um, before you go, the salad that we find packaged like this in plastic and plastic and, and, and all of that, is this a waste of time getting KT? Should we get the pack, the salad that's out I would get it's better to get the salad that's out yeah. because and not and not to knock that because I don't want to deter people who you know they you eating greens, get it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you know it's being processed to some degree, it's getting cut up, it's getting washed, it's getting rinsed. You don't know if they're using a certain chemical for it. They say it's triple wash, you don't gotta wash it when you get home and stuff. Right. I get them, I get some of the mixed greens and the salads and the arugula in those containers from time to time. I do that too. But when I go to the farmer's markets and I go to the markets and I see the head of lettuce, I see the fresh arugula and everything, I, I usually opt for those instead. And you could taste the difference. Oh, you yeah. you got to rinse it. It's going to have the, the, the soil up in there, the grit, the grime. You got to rinse it off and everything that's necessary. That lets you know that, that thing came from the earth. You know what I'm saying? You know, with those, you don't even know where it came from. You know what I'm saying? Because it came from somebody's trunk. <laughs> you know, maybe hydroponics or something. But um, I'm not going to knock them because, like I said, um, you know, people need to get some greens in. And if, if that's what you're using and you're comfortable with right now and you ain't made the transition, I'm not trying to deter you from making your salad. Okay? Indeed. Indeed. Uh, and I know this was a popular one. I heard you and Yaki talk about this. So oh, this yeah. Harmon's right. Harvest is the is top notch out of the bottled coconut water. Bottle. You can't get better than getting it fresh out the coconut. Of course, you know Harmless Harvest because it has that pink color. Where does the pink color come from? The pink color comes from the fact that a lot of the coconut waters add certain preservatives in there to keep the clear uh, white. Um, well, not the not the white, but the clearness of the coconut water, but the the natural nutrients, antioxidants, and 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 things that are naturally occurring in coconut water, they're going over time to color the coconut water to that color. So that's letting you know they're not there's no additives in there that that's coconut water that has um you know over time has turn to that color because if you're dealing with something in a bottle in a box or a bag the whole reason why it's in a bottle box or a bag is so it can sit on that shelf so they're just being honest they like i was been sitting this is what happens when it sits the rest of these cats you know they capping you know they put all type of stuff in there to try and make it look like it just came out of the coconut but we letting you know we got the real stuff right here you know yeah oh yeah 
Uh, somebody says, show that bottle again. Um, this is the Harmless Harvest. Yeah, it's good stuff. Organic coconut. Well, yes. So let me, I want y'all to see the color. Yeah, it's you like, see the color is pink. Like a pink. Yeah, a little fuchsia, like a pink. magenta, like, a, like a, a clear magenta yeah. color. Yeah. Like a pink color. But this is, um, just to show y'all. Y'all could order this. What's that smoke, y'all? Yeah, it's on, it's online. You could, you could order it online. You'll find it at, you know, most of the natural markets. They have them up in there. And this is produced in Thailand, KT. Mm -hmm. You know, they that's where all the coconuts come from. We're talking about their oh, coconut okay. industry is oh yeah out of out of this world. Yeah, bro. You ever even, been over when, even the young coconuts, that's where they come from. When Thailand, you drink yeah, it straight right, out the coconut, right. yeah, they Thailand. Mm-hmm. You ever um been to Thailand? Mm-mm, not yet. Yeah, not I yet, want to not yet. I definitely want to go out there. I definitely want to visit Thailand. Oh, yeah, yeah. They they need to see me over there for sure. Yeah, you know, shout the KT out. in their life. <laughs> yeah, this is dope. Make sure y'all, if y'all can, get some of this um in your life. Uh yeah, so I think I'm gonna take questions now. I'm trying to think of this here. KT food. This is like like the like the brother said right here. This show was a unique look at today's food and educational 10 out of 10. I'm glad you appreciate it. This Thanks, is this brother. Is, we, we need shows like this. We definitely need shows like this. Um and we need shows like this every once in a while because there's new food that enters the supermarket that we need to know all about. All the time, right? all the time. And, and food changes. Mm -hmm. Companies get compromised. Companies get sold. So yeah. All right. Any, first question. Any huh? natural teeth whitening? Yeah, yeah. I was looking yeah, at that. that's that's gonna be oil pulling, the back of banana peels. So when you when you when you peel your banana, right? Take the banana peel with the the part that faces the fruit right and place it because that they, they they fit perfectly <laughs> over the teeth and rub your teeth like you had a washcloth okay you could do it with the banana peel you could also do it with strawberries the malic the malic acid in the strawberries as well as what's in the banana peel they're white in the teeth and then one of the best things of course is going to be the activated charcoal all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody says, oh, "Okay, well, no, let me ask this: Should we eat foods based on our blood types?" Common. Uh, oh, very oh and love coming. It loves coming. I say, try it. Try it and see for yourself. Try it and see for yourself because blood types is blood types is an inter interesting conversation because we we technically have the same blood, but because of um the denaturing and the mixing that has happened over the years we got all of these um antigens on the surface of our blood cells now you know what i mean that makes our body very sensitive to certain things so it's going to make us sensitive to the foods that come inside of our body you know with the original blood type being o um and then you got a after that but then you got the the rh negative the rh positive the ab the b you know and all that and um you know, if, if we go by eating by blood type, that means that A blood types are the only ones that can be plant-based. They're the mm. only plant-based blood type. Everybody else is supposed to be eating meat and dairy and everything. And O blood type, which is the original, they, they say that they're supposed to eat mad meat, like all the meats. Like they're supposed to be just... All the meats. 80, 80, <laughs> right, pause, right? <laughs> 80%. <laughs> 80% of their diet is supposed to be that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I just tell people, you try it for yourself. Find your blood type. Look at what the list say. Try it out. If it works for you, it works for you. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, uh, blood type is really based on what? Iron and hemoglobin. So, you know, that's supposed to be what you feed in your blood mostly is oxygen and iron and keeping it hydrated because your blood is mainly water because of the plasma so that's coconut water so that that's eating for your blood type in my opinion <laughs> these stupid arby's we have the we meats. have the meats <laughs> you know, i never even when i was young i never ate arby's yo you ever no, ate arby's? bro who ate that arby's when have you ever seen anybody say yo i'm about to go to arby's and get some of the meats nobody <laughs> How do they even make money? I know nobody. Bro, I think I think they a front dog for something else, bro. They selling cocaine or meth up in there, bro. I nobody, don't get it. Nobody eats Arby's, y'all. Nobody. And then their symbol is the is is the head of a penis. Man, man, man. 
They got that. They got that. And then they talk about We Have the Meats by Ving Rhames. Crazy. Uh, mm -mm. Let's get to... Uh, Peace. Shout out to um, MJA287. No. Nola is not safe to consume. You know why, Canola? Before you even study Canola, do you know Canola is actually um doing business as it's their dba it ain't even the real name of the oil the real name of canola oil is actually rape seed uh -huh. do you do you do you want rape seed on your food i don't think so Crazy. it's an omega-6 all right which means it's an inflammatory so it's going to add to that destroying that 4-1 ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s you know, it's it's one of the main GMO foods here in America. Soy, right? Um, um, what am I missing? The soybean, the wheat, the corn, and the canola. All right, a lot of glyphosate is going to be in there. You know, which is the Roundup chemical that is destroying um, our light processing centers and 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 everything inside of our bodies. So no, mm -mm, please. Please and be careful about grapeseed oil too. Grapeseed oil is good every now and again to deep fry, but its omega three omega six ratio is about nine hundred to one. Um, omega three to omega six is supposed to be a four one ratio. Four omega sixes, one omega threes, and grapeseed. Look it up. It's about nine hundred to nine fifty to one. That omega six number is stupid. You know so. Be mindful of that. Let's see what else we got. Um, avocado oil, yes. Walnut oil, sometimes more of a toss than a cook. <clears throat> I haven't used macadamia oil, but macadamia nuts is real good. You get good um selenium out of macadamia nuts. That's another good selenium source, like Brazil nuts, you know. So, um, KT, real quick, before we get out of here, I want to show you. I talked to you about this before. I'm, I think I'm just going to the website. I, I've, I got, um, hold up, let me show you now. I just ordered the, the kit from Viable. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The, the fecal, the fecal <laughs> fan. <laughs> so I got to send in. Uh, uh, a fecal family. I gotta send in a fecal sample, sample, sample so they can the study your microbiome. And then, so KT, explain exactly what 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 happened. So they, so this is what they say: you send in your fecal um sample as well as mm -hmm. your saliva mm -hmm. sample, and mm -hmm. they can study your microbiome, and mm -hmm. they can give you a tailored made nu nutritional, you know, uh, diet. In regards to how to repopulate your yeah. gut and everything yeah. like that, yeah. So, so yeah, tell the people, um, is that shit real from your fecal? Yeah, your, they could tell everything that's in your gut, huh? Majority of what we defecate is bacteria, Rich. Right. All that weight, it's not, it's not really food. It's most we we boo-booing out a bunch of bacteria out. So, you know, it's a, it'll be a large source of bacteria in there that they'll be able to study and see what your ratios are. You know, you got bacteriotes, you got firmicutes, you got privatella. These are all the different families of the bacteria that's in there. And when you're dealing with the phenotype of Caucasians versus Congoloid, you know, black and white, you know, we're going to have they're going to have higher numbers of one type while we'll have higher numbers of the other. I think their theirs is higher firmicutes, lower bacteriotes. We're higher bacteriotes and there's low, lower firmicutes. I mean, theirs is higher firmicutes. Um, and by them studying your fecal matter, they'll be able to see, OK, what are all the family of bacteria you got? What's your ratio? OK, you're low in this. Um, it's not that much diversity here we need to add add more diversity so start eating this kimchi start getting these cruciferous vegetables or they might say oh your sugar your sugar's way too high you need to let the sugar go or there's too much oils you know you you need to lower your oils and do this so you can process oils better but yeah they're, they're going through the colon the colon is pretty much going to release um a um uh what, what would you say it a report card 
mm-hmm. of your of your body's health. You know, they're able to look and see because that's the waste product that comes out. Somebody goes in your trash can and looks through all your garbage, they they'll learn a lot about the type mm. of person you are, right? That's facts. So that's, so that's facts. what they're doing. They're they're going up in there and they they're gonna see what all they're gonna find out about you, you know. So and, this- and they're taking the saliva too, because you know, like I said earlier with the Listerine, we have a we have a microbiome in the saliva. So we're mm. gonna see, okay, what do you got going on in the mouth? And then and then what do we got going on down here in the colon? You know what I'm saying, and then they're gonna they're gonna compare and contrast. You know, so yeah. So for those, I who- haven't done it, and I haven't looked this company up, but based on what they're saying, I can understand the point. You know. Yeah, I yeah. talked to um. I I remember the first person to tell me about this company was years ago was polite, and then uh, I was talking to Yaki about it, and Yaki was like, "Yeah, they're official." So okay. I was like, I was like, all right. So I'm, I'm, I, when I was talking to Yaki, I was like, so when I get it, I told the brother, I want you to help me. So I, I want you to help me as well in terms of whatever they tell me they see in my microbiome, what might be the best thing. Because they're going to give me they supplements, but I want the whole foods. I want the herbs. You know, I want, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, they're going to give you they're going to give you the information and you'll be able to do what you want with it. And then right. even based on the supplements that they're suggesting, that's going to give you more insight on what you need. Right, right, indeed. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll keep you updated with that, let y'all know how that works out um, and see, you know, what, what it does, how much it helps me or whatever. Oh, I didn't know Billy talk about it too. Kick Simon said Billy talk about it too. I didn't know that. All right, all right. Yeah, the mic- right, microbiome um, is everything, man. Indeed, you, you, told, you told me about that. I That's a whole new world you put me You put me on it, I think, in 2019 or something. I was like, the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you put me on it. And when when right before my girl got pregnant was serious and you started telling me about you was like your rich yo she got that microbiome and you started telling me about the probiotics and all that and I was like what what mm. is that I was like yeah. what the hell is yeah, yeah, yeah 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 bro the prebiotics and the probiotics I was like what so yeah you put me up <laughs> on all of that bro oh you changed you changed the game with that one bro you changed a lot I appreciate that indeed man wow all right let's um Let's get, let's, we're probably going to do two more questions Then we're going to get out of here We've been on here for a while This has been very, very fun Very fun uh, Oh the- yeah, duck, duck flower Duck flower gets the microbiome right too Because you you get the You get the vomiting and purging And getting everything out And it kind of resets the microbiome And then you can kind of replenish it And get it right again So yeah Indeed yeah. Do, What about this right here? Do you recommend colon hydrotherapy? Nah, bro the 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 rectum the the large intestine goes one direction it goes what? one way it goes what? one way out it is not meant for it to go the other way and with us talking about microbiome the bacteria that's in the jejunum that's in the ileum that's in the duodenum that's in the sigmoid colon in the transverse colon in the ascending colon in the descending colon these are all the different parts of the small intestines and the large intestines. They all have different communities. You pushing the Muslims over to the Jews. You you pushing the 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 um the um the uh the the Islamic community into the Christian community. You pulling the 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 uh, native uh, indigenous people over there with the Mormons. You know what I'm saying? You pushing all these different groups of people into the different areas where they naturally don't reside. You see what I'm saying? And you don't want to do that. You're disturbing the natural order of things down there when you introduce a violent jet stream of water going in the improper direction back up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even when you vomit, you know what I mean? You don't vomit from your rectum back. You don't be vomiting boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? No, all that's supposed to go that way. So I've never been a fan of colonics and none of that stuff. Enemas, I'm cool with that. You know, it's a suppository that you put up there and then everything falls out. You know, I, I'm with that one. You know what I'm saying? But shooting stuff up the behind, nah, bro. Mm. Not a fan of that one. But that's uh, just me. <clears throat> oh, they said, where do you purchase the duck flower? Oh, for me, we uh we we have we we have some in stock right now, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, six-month detox and six hours, very violent, get at your own risk. 
you're throwing up, vomiting, and everything for four hours. You're gonna want that thing to be done. But when it's done, you're gonna be so tired. You got to drink coconut water and stuff like that to get your electrolytes going, stay hydrated while you're doing all the vomiting and everything. But when you get up in the morning, get up the next day, you're gonna feel great. Yeah, you know that's the one thing I didn't try from you yet, KT. Is the duck? I got you. I, I got you. Me. Ready? You ready, I Rich? I don't know. We got to do a live. We need to do a live, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell... And while you in there throwing up in the bathroom, I'll tell people uh, what's going on in his body. See, what Rich is going uh, through right now. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> but now nah, uh, I got you when you're ready. When you're ready. Okay, my brother. Thank you. Um, Can you please speak on fiber and fermentation in the microbiome? Oh, yeah, definitely. So fermentation is going to, in, in terms of consuming things that have fermented, this is where the kimchi and the uh, the sauerkraut and all those type of things come into mist because the bacteria develops in that type of process, you know? Um, and fermentation and spoiling and all of those are two different things. You think fermentation, you think, oh, it's old, it's spoiled, it's bad, it's molded. But it's actually a step in alchemy. You know, and our digestive system is actually a, a technology that's able to do all of these um, amazing alchemical processes in order for us not just to get nutrients out, but for us to be able to get a certain essence, you know, out of the thing that we're consuming, you know. So fiber is going to help to feed the microbiome. The microbiome is going to consume the fiber. And in consuming the fiber is going to start producing elements, free short chain fatty acids and other molecular structures that our body can use because our body is not able to um, break down a lot of those things that we eat when it comes to vegetation, some of the cellulose and a lot of those fibers. So the microbiome actually consumes that stuff, you know, and in the consumption produces all of these nutrients that our body is able to utilize in order to make our health better. Indeed. All right. Yeah. All right. Another thing the microbiome does is the fact that uh, bacteria don't have DHA in their, um, in their lipid uh, layer, in their membrane, because they don't have a phospholipid bilayer. Our cells have a double layer. The bacteria don't, which means that the light that bacteria have leaks out. And if you look at a, um, a photo multiplier or any type of um, technology that's able to show the biophotons that the body releases, bacteria look like stars. They look like sparkling firecrackers because they're releasing all this light. Well, in them consuming the food that we eat, it has them release certain types of light and the and this light can be interpreted with inside of our body mm. and that's another way that we end up getting nutrients and getting health is based on the light display the fireworks the the lcd display that our microbiome presents to the enterocytes of the cells that line the intestines all right all right and fa <clears throat> family once again I'm a little tired tonight, yo. Brother Rich is on his water fast. I'm glad that uh, if I'm just got doing that honey in the rain, I got some of the uh the, the coconut water that I showed y'all, and I'm doing the Mountain Valley spring water, and I just been doing that. But that honey, man, I'm like family. I I can't like y'all know people people. This products that I get, I get so many products from. You know, so many people out there that have products because, you know, everybody wants Brother Rich to plug their product because, you know, they'll do good financially from it. And some products I don't I don't even use. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bash it or nothing. All products is good. It just doesn't resonate with me as much as other products. But mm -hmm. I have to say, y'all. Honey is the my favorite product that I that, that I had that I get that I have my favorite hands down and Appreciate it's funny it, because kt cmos is my favorite now blue pill i love blue pill smoothies but in terms of the cmos gel kt C3, has my favorite my favorite cmos gel C3. so the brother, yeah the c3 so the brother is doing his thing he got his products i drove in the rain for hours today 
the honey. It was poor. My girl said, where are you going? I said, honey, I got to get the honey. The honey. <laughs> said, honey, I'm going to get the honey, honey. And I was driving in the rain. Left my son home. Driving in the rain. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to do this fast without the honey. I told my they don't, they don't got to believe you, Rich. You'll be more for us, bro. Man, listen. I, I just, You'll I, be I more just, for us, man. You excited. know what I'm saying? I get excited when there's products out there. Because we just said... There's not a lot of things to be happy about when it comes to food. The food don't taste like shit no more. So you oh. buy food, you eat it, and nothing tastes the same more. So when somebody comes with a product, you're like, oh, shit, I feel alive. I don't even have to eat food. Like, I'm, I'm excited because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, I, I, I love the Manuka honey too, y'all, but Manuka don't have nothing on this. Man. I love the Manuka honey. Manuka honey is great, but this is next level. Next I level like I right? like Toyota Camrys, but the Ferrari truck. Exactly. That's a that's a whole you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The G a G a G five is is totally different than taking an Uber. <laughs> facts, facts, man. But shout out to KT. KT changed the game with that one, y'all. Uh, and that was a brother in our community who came up, came, presented that. And you know, I know he got it from Sabi or whatever, but right now in this time, KT brought it back out to the public and it, it said we, we needed it. It's perfect timing. So Oh Shout yes, that is definitely yes. The brother um is going down, family, March 9th in Atlanta. I'm sure KT's gonna bring some out in Atlanta. He's gonna be there. Uh red and blue pill's gonna be there. Um Dr. B serious is gonna be there. It's gonna be a star studded event. event. Yeah, a yeah, star studded yeah, event. March 9th, doors open up at eight. Tickets is $30. Dr. B is going to set the night off at 9 p.m. sharp. Don't get there late with a drumming ceremony, with a, a, a paradigm shifting golden age drumming ceremony. He's going to give a talk. Blue Pill is going to hit us with some poetry. Can I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him some free eye drops. The eye drop. Come on, y'all. Now, me. look. Listen. Look. Now, let, me, let, let me clarify. Let me let me clarify. I'm not giving away free dropper bottles. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop honey in the eyes. Yes, Yo, it's gonna come, be lit. Come, come get it, come get it, because that's the only way you're gonna have an amazing experience up in there is if you you can see it nice and clearly. You know what I'm saying? On a it, cosmic it. level like that. So yeah, we, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some a free a free eye dropping station, Rich. I'm gonna do that for you, bro. Yeah, that's somebody what, asked you to let them know. I, so it's, it's it's the eye dropping station. I'm going to call my brother Rod Cool. We're going to have the reading station. Oh, for the Still stars. For the, yeah, nice. yeah. We're going to have the reading station, the astrology station, the eye dropping station. Uh, Blue Pill is going to have the Seymour smoothies and the food. Um, we're going to have the music room, the club. We're going to be dancing. We're going to have a good time. We're going to play tracks from all three Holy Ghost album. King Simon is going to be in the building. Dr. B Series is having a drumming ceremony. Family. This is the this is this this is it right here. This is what we've been waiting for right here. Yeah, we bring we bring it in the spring, bro. The yeah, spring bring celebration. The spring. Yeah, bring it in the spring. It's gonna be amazing. Um, what this? I'm trying to think. There's something. Uh, what's good? Let me see. There's something I want that. Oh, somebody asked. Um, if I mix the honey in the water, Latoria. Um, I put the honey in with um my sea moss. So I I do the sea moss tea. I heat heat the distilled water up. I uh, have a teaspoon of the C3 in the water, and then I put the honey in it. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, that's what I do when I fast. So I got the C3, I got the honey, and I got the distilled water. And um, I, 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 that's what I do in terms of, I, I got that. I, dry, I hydrate with this throughout the day, water. So I'm doing that for three days, and uh, and that's it's amazing, y'all. So make sure y'all get the um, honey. You can use it. For, when KT did a cooking show one time, he put the honey on some of the food. Like you could use the honey for so many different purposes, y'all. Mm -hmm. So many different purposes, man. KT, close out the show. Tell the people how they could get in touch with you and anything you else you want to let them know, KT. Sure, sure. Corey asks, does the duck flower help with the you know what? And um, it's definitely gonna help purge, but the honey actually is what's gonna purge that out. 750 milliliters of it over a three week period, along with a mono diet of a fruit and proper hydration. But I would like to let all y'all know, man, you know, um, we, we talked a lot about all of these additives and, and everything, but you know, the key to it is um, just read the ingredients. It doesn't take any time to turn 
the product around and look to see what's inside of it. If you cannot identify what is inside of what you're purchasing, then you know there's no reason to put this mysterious substance inside of your body because you don't know how your body's going to react to it. You know, just just do something that you, you're more familiar with. You know, Google it, look it up, get the information. You know, and just get more of more natural things inside of your body. Oh, yeah. Um, you can find me. You know, KT the Arch Degree, uh, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, um, Patreon. And um, <clears throat> like I said, I, I just dropped an interview with Dr. Holistic over on his channel. Go check that out. Support support that podcast. He got a series he just got going. Um, and the website is soionicbotanicals.com. That is where you will find, you know, the honey, the stingless bee honey nest suit nectar that Rich is praising um, that you need in your life, um, as well as other products um, that are, you know, very beneficial for the for your system and for your life so you know i look forward to the next time coming on and vibing with you rich and sharing with the people until then i'll see y'all on the ninth where i'm going to be helping people see the world more clearly <laughs> and you know yeah Indeed. boy all right listen family i want to thank you for tuning in kt thanks for coming on and i will see y'all next time peace family peace